This, right here, is Wallbridge. A bridge that acts as a fortress. Those two guards belong to my uncle. How can you tell? Okay. Is there another way around? Hmm. I know of some other routes, but they all run through the capital. This is bad. We can't possibly return to Barona now. There goes Sophie. She saw a butterfly. Oh no, she saw a guy. Hi, guy. Oh, hi, girl. I do not know you. But you look like a punk rocker. I call you Bridget. Hey, Bridget. What? Sophie! What's wrong? What happened? Um, we were really mean to someone named Bridget. That girl. She touched me. What? <laughs> Sorry, Bridget. I touched her. I really touched her. Okay. Your name is Bridget. Just what do you want with Sophie? Oh my gosh, I never thought I'd see a real one in person. It's like meeting a celebrity. Real what? See a real what? I said see because I just saw her illusion a little while ago. Illusion? What are you talking about? Do you know something about Sophie? About her, but it's kind of hard to Of course it is. It'll be faster to just show you. Come on, it's right over there. Oh, dears. Oh, hey, treasure. Who would put a rusted nail in a treasure chest? What is this? You can use this to just push right down to the underground ruins you know that's where the illusion is there are ruins here i know right i was totally surprised when i went down there but boy was it something not having to deal with that stupid bridge was a nice bonus too were there soldiers in the ruins nope just me what do you think asbel might as well take a look we can't do anything i am wondering do i eventually get four people because i had four entails I think. Yeah, because it was Luke, Tyr, Natalia, and Jade was my, like, default party. Or Jade or Guy. Plus, I'm interested in this illusion of Sophie. Right. But I've been stuck at three for, like, the whole game so far. You're coming? Awesome! Let's all go together, then. Wait, you're coming with us? Well, sure. I think she's offering to show us around the ruins. Right? Of course! All right, I guess we're all going in. Bilateral Alliance. Come on, let me touch you again. Look, you can touch me as much as you want. It's a <laughs> fair deal. No. Asbel? Too bad. He's way over there. Do you think Archduke Cedric could be in league with Strata? It's possible. My uncle had been handling the kingdom's foreign affairs for many years. With my father's ailing health, he had no one to answer to. So, in other words, this alliance between Strata and Want... Though it pains me to say it, it may have indeed been officially sanctioned by the Crown. Well, that's really convenient. I don't know how people didn't know about this, like, giant glowy disc. How'd you get here first? What just happened? We're in the ruins! But we didn't move. How did we end up somewhere else? It's no big deal. It's just a little woobly-wobbly katang kind of thing. You know? No idea. I don't get it. 
It's cool, right? Who'd have thought a huge place like this would be right under our toes? These ruins don't look like any place I've ever seen. That's because the Amarsians built them a long time ago. So of course they're gonna look different. The who? The Amarsians. They're a tribe that left ruins like this all over the world. Are you some kind of archaeologist, Pascal? Her name is Bridget. Hmm. Yeah, I guess. Something like that. But since I taught you something new, you should let me touch your friend. Dude, she's 14. Don't touch me. Boo, you're no fun. This girl reminds me a lot of that um, other archaeologist chick from Atelier Iris. Can we just go, please? Yeah, okay. All right. Um, I hope I get a sit to a save point because I'm kind of looking for one. Okay, so these are not things I can do anything with. So yeah, this is definitely like not only the right way, but the only way I can go. That answers my question. Yes, I eventually get four people. I wonder if Pascal's actually a permanent character. I kind of feel like she shouldn't be because that whole thing about wanting to touch Sophie is going to get old. So maybe she's just here for right now, but she just got a title, so maybe. Oh, Aspel gained spread. There is nothing I can say about that that's going to be appropriate. Yes, I want this, because this has bench SP, and I have a feeling that Pascal will not end up in my main party. I, I'm sorry, but it's just like, I'm going to have both healers, and, you know, I'm going to have Aspel. I don't know who my fourth one will be. I was, I've always been thinking for my brother, but maybe the Prince, but yeah, probably not Pascal. So I definitely want Pascal to have bench things. Okay, okay, can you move, please? Please move! Jerk. These guys must have paralysis. You know what? You did fail everyone. Attack plus four. Awesome. I know about charging. Oh wow, he doesn't 
Okay, fine. Guess I will use more. Can I please get to a save point? <laughs> Pretty please. Hey there guys, and welcome back to Let's Play Tales of the Abyss Blind. Actually, um, this is mid-episode, so never mind. I didn't say that. This is a separate day, because after I came into this dungeon in the last episode, I died. I'm still looking for a save point. I've come back here playing on a different game now, or a different day now, not a different game. And I'm here. I don't know what that red thing is supposed to do. Um, I'm kind of, sort of, confused used at the moment. I've killed all the guys on this level, but I kind of feel like there's something important. I mean, like, there's an area up there that I can't... I have no idea how I'm supposed to get to. There's that red platform that I do not know what it does. But if I come over here, then there's also this orange platform and another red platform down there. So I do not know what's going on. Um, I did find a place I can go down. I'm going to go down. I kind of... I mean, I won't say I've given up, but I just... I, I don't know what else I'm supposed to do in this level. I sort of feel like this is one of those areas where I'll come back later and there's some, like, a Mew ability I'm going to have to have or something like that. So, yeah. That's what's going on. Just wanted to kind of give you an update because I didn't want to just suddenly start like 20 minutes later and you have no idea what's going on. But yeah, that's where we stand. So let's see what we can see. Oh, hey, save point. That's what I was looking for last time. Man, they made you fight through like five guys. The problem is these guys are kind of hard, especially if you don't really know what you're doing. I've kind of figured them out now. Aha! So now I'm knocking these things up. That sounds bad. Whoa, that looks that looks relevant. So I'm gonna go see what's up up with that orange guy I just set up. So I'll see you when I like find him. Aha! Scarlet, that's what that was. Interesting. Not that I think I'll ever be here again, but you never know. Wait, what is that? That looked like a thing. Oh, just the open. Okay. So, interesting. Alright. I'm glad I found that. Obviously, there'll be something else up here at some point. Because I can see another treasure box across the way up here. That I cannot get yet. But, yeah, I'm a little less confused now. I, I, I was supposed to go down. So, that's always positive. How have you guys been? Uh, it's been a few days since I was able to play this. I have been working myself to death. Whew. I mean, granted, it's, it's all in training to get a better position, but man, I've just had all kinds of long shifts, and today's actually, this is a good week, but then after this week, I go on and push on into another long, long week, and this, this looks like it's going to be fun. Oh, yay! So here's the device that shows the illusions. Something's approaching. The footsteps sound... Strange. How do foot sounds st sound strange? I'm like non human, maybe. Yep! Yikes. What's that? Here it's comes. the boss I said was going to come. Oh, this should be interesting. Whoa, 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 whoa! None of that now! So it's weak against. Freeze, it looks like? Oh, I didn't look how many hit points it has. It has a lot of hit points. Ow, 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 ow. Okay, can I move, please? Game. That looks like a thing I want to get away from. I've even got the perilous charm on him. Yeah. 
Richard, get out of there! That's obviously a perilous field. I jumped the wrong way and got caught in it. You guys are poisoned. I can't do anything about that. I guess I can. Oh, I didn't even notice he was doing that. Crap. What are you... I told you to get me back up! I was doing really well for a second there. Sorry about that. Leave her alone! Oh my gosh, how am I getting stunned so freaking much? I really need you to move. I really need you to move. I really need you to move. What is the point of having the perilous charm on you if you get paralyzed? Sorry about that. Lightning blade. Okay. Richard. Aspel, heal yourself. I failed everyone. God dang it! Sorry about that. Man, I'm going through these uh, candy. First try though. First try. <laughs> Man, that was that was kind of that was kind of cagey there in the middle. I won't lie. <sighs> I did really well, and then I got him down to about a quarter life, and then he just—it was hard to keep people up. I'm gonna have to do a lot more like jumping around and you know making people not be stupid. I can see. All right, mine shard two. Vigilant fangs. Stone proof, thank 
freaking g I needed that title. Although, frankly, I don't even know if I did, because I've got the anti-paralysis amulet on him, and it doesn't seem to do anything. So, ooh, heal adept. That is a title I definitely want. I, I am, um, quite aware of what that paralysis does. Thank you. Whew. That was unexpected. No, I pretty much called it that was going to happen, Aspel. I'm smarter than you are. How does this device work? It's a cinch. You just tappy tappy on this thingamabob here and then ka chunk on the little dongle. I have no idea what you're trying <laughs> to say. Just try it. Oh, come on, it's super easy. Okay. <sighs> all right, all right. Step aside. I'll show you. Why don't you just do this for the beginning? You're the one that knows what's going on. It moved. It sure did. Good job, Richard. This is why you're the prince. Look. It's me. This must be the illusion Pascal was talking about. You think? She's right. It looks just like Sophie. I know, right? They're identical. Now, do you see why I totally wanted to touch Sophie? <laughs> so was this device also constructed long ago by the Amarcians? I totally missaw that as Americans for a second. Yeah, probably, but I don't know. I'm still kind of researching it. Ooh, wow, it was. I was scratching my nose. And I accidentally like smacked Mike. Um, whatever this Aww, Mike, boom, thingy. Goes. Sophie, did seeing the illusion help you remember anything? Are you an American, Sophie? So we don't know how this is connected to her, or if it's even connected at all. I know. I wish I had a manual or whatever. And this writing's all smudgy and faded, so I can't really tell what it says. Also, uh, I got a question for you, Pascal. What is the point of wearing suspenders if they're going to be so loose that they don't do anything? Look at that. There's, like, a good several inches of slack on, like, every angle. <laughs> what the heck? If I squint real hard, I can read the word lambda. But that's it. Well, Lambda is a Xenogears reference. Uh, there's a bunch of lambs in that game. Lambda? What does that mean? Lambda. Yes, it is lamb and it is da. I feel like I heard that word a long time ago. Oh, I get it. The Americans are actually Russians and it's actually Lambda. Lambda. Pascal, are you sure you can't make out anything else? Mm, nope. Sorry. Show's over. We don't have time to sit around thinking about it. Let's keep moving. What's your take on this, Asbel? About? About the Sophie that appeared in the machine. It was nearly a perfect double of her. Don't you even have a theory? Not really. That isn't <laughs> like you at all, Asbel. Aren't you supposed to be her guardian? Supposed to be, but I don't know anymore. Come on, Asbel. Get it together. You're all she has. I am? You belong by her side. Having found myself in a similar situation, it is a feeling I know well. In fact, even now I continue to be in your debt. Thanks, Richard. I appreciate it. Why are you thanking me? Well, it just felt like the right <laughs> thing to say. Okay, so first of all, let's play some title foo. Because Sophie finished up her title. And I am really curious about this heal adept. What are these other ones? Eagle dive adept jogger? Interesting. 
So the question remained, where am I going now? I saw this, and this was cool, but I kind of thought this would lead me to the next area of the game. Oh, then I'm going over here. So, heading back up. I, I'm i not sure if I should cut to the next area yet. I mean, on the one hand, we just had a boss, so I can't imagine there's that much left. Wow, that was a button mashing frenzy. Crablets. I bet Richard gets to eat special royal crablets. Royal crablets? Yeah, I'm afraid there's no such thing. <laughs> royal crablets. You wait, Sophie. Let's all calm down. Oh, poor. What the heck? I'm never gonna get all these titles. Get loud. I hate when there's forks. I don't know. I want to explore everything, but see all the things. Okay, this is definitely the right one to go to first. Interesting. Hyper dense crystal. Oh, wait. I just, like, bounced that guy somewhere. Somewhere I'm sure I will be seeing in just a moment. I do have to say, as cool as this area is, this is not up to the, like, visual splendor I'm used to from this game. Aha! I would not have been able to proceed had I not gone that way. So not only was it a secret, it was a secret that I was required to do. In other words, not a secret at all. Aha! <laughs> there is a secret thingy I over here. Another device here too. It looks like the one at the entrance. Yeah, that's because it's the same thing. So can we use it to reach the other side? Oh, I thought we already found the one that nope, goes to the other side. This one just poofs you right into the middle of Wallbridge, which is pretty silly unless you want to tour a fortress. That's okay. We're in a hurry. Aw, I bet it's a fun tour. <laughs> okay, so interesting. Fascinating, in fact. So I hadn't been this way, although at the same time I didn't want to go this way. I wanted to go... this way. In order to get out of here and continue our epic escape. Which, theoretically, this, this really, really helps our escape. Because I'm quite sure that um, the, those people that are pursuing us probably don't know about this. Although it doesn't make sense in the middle of a field. How would they not know about this? But, at the very least, they're not going to think we're going to be able to get past Wallbridge. Although, at the same time, even while I'm saying that, couldn't they just, like, swim? <laughs> it's a bridge. <laughs> Looks like we cleared Wallbridge. Now we can continue to Grailside. Oh, you're going to Grailside? How convenient. You're going to stick with us. Help, Pascal. Thank you. Wait, hang on. I want to go to Grailside too. You don't have some sneaky reason for following us around, do you? <laughs> Maybe. Are you serious? It's because I want to get closer to Sophie. Huh? Yeah, I want to touch her and study her and, and learn about her and, uh, touch her. <laughs> Pascal, you're... No um... offense, but I'm not interested in the rest of you. So can I come, please, Asbel? Please? Um, whoever you are? Richard. Richard, got it. Hey, Sophie, who do you like best? Me? Asbel <laughs> or the other guy? Asbel. Oh, come on! I want you to like me, too! She's a bit eccentric, but I think we can trust her. I mean, if she was going to betray us, why would she help us get past Wallbridge? Right, that doesn't make any sense. You can come with us. Yay! It's like they say, trips are all about meeting people, right? Now then, shall we head for Grailside?
Oh, jeez, and there's guys right freaking there, too. I have a feeling I'm gonna have to beat them up right now. Raw, guys. Maybe not. Wow, okay. So they sent you guys out to address the Prince of Windor on site, but they didn't tell you what he looks like. Uh, that's the military for you! <laughs> Alright, so um, I think that'll be about half an hour. I'm not really sure because, like I said, um, the last episode kind of cut off early because it ended up being like 50 minutes or something, and I just could not get the last bit on there. So I'm not really sure how long this will end up being, but hopefully it's good. Tune in next time when we will go to Grailside and meet up with Richard's... Uncle, I think? The guy that's going to... Well, no, not... Richard's uncle is the one that's taking over, but... A uh, dude... Somebody's going to help us. That's who we're going to meet. See you all next time.